Hey everybody, Shag Dog Spare Swallow Beer Review. Uh, I'm drinking Spruce Willis. If you can tell, they're in the can, green, green labels. Oh yeah, that's kind of what it looks like, just like the back there. Spruce Willis, yippee ki yay, mother. It's got the hashtag, you know, mother, you know what? Uh, Ao Brew with Spruce Tips. It's a double IPA, 8.2% ABV. 16 ounce can. Beer Advocate considers a Imperial IPA. Uh, it gets a 86. And let's see if I can read the notes. An explosive hoppy double IPA with piney resiny burst from the spruce and pops of wintergreen. Mango, grapefruit, and pine like notes from the hops the last thing this beer wants to be is a hero but it doesn't have a choice there you go i guess a beer inspired by bruce willis for die hard right now of course i'm gonna have a hard time getting this open because i got really bad fingertips nowadays and it's really horrible i've never had a hard time with this in my life there we go. And I'm not a big IPA fan or double IPA. And I really don't like pine and spruce. And But we'll see how it is. I think Jammer fan would probably love this one. So yippee ki motherfuckers. Look at that. A little cloudy, but I can see the shadows of my fingers or the silhouettes of my fingers. On the other side of the glass. Uh, it does have a little orangey amber look to it, I guess. Orangey amber golden look. The head is nice and frothy. Uh, it's only a pinky head, but it's nice and white. It looks like a, a cloud almost. A flat cloud, though. It's not like... Yeah. All right, let's give it a sniffer on yeah? Hmm. Oh, and this is, again, made by Duclaw Brewing. Uh, I've been getting a lot of Duclaw Brewing. It's like the brewery is right here in town because I'm, this is like, I don't know, the 10th beer I've done by them in the last couple months, probably. Definitely piney. Fruity. Maybe a little bit of grapefruit. A little bit of a mango. Some other type of citrus in there. This smells all right. It doesn't smell too hoppy, but I'm sure it's probably going to be hoppy. But we'll see. I, Duclaw, I, every beer I like by them pretty much, with the exception of maybe two or three. So let's do it. Cheers, folks. Yeah. Definitely a nice citrus juice taste in there, too. Um, not really juicy, juicy, but a nice citrus. I'm not sure if that's a mango or... It does have a little bit of bite, especially like in the middle with the hoppiness. It is piney, but not overly piney, but it is there. It's not bad. Uh, I wouldn't drink a bunch of these. Probably have one if it was offered to me. Then I'd ask if they got something else because I'm not a really. It's not the worst IPA I've had. I've had a lot of hoppier beers. So it's. So a hop head might not like this because it's not super duper hoppy. I don't know what the IBUs are. It says, does it say on here? Uh, tells what kind of hops they use. They got Cascade, Citra, and Simcoe. Then they got Pilsner grain, grains. This is Pilsner, Flaked Oat, and Torrified Wheat. Uh, uh, I'd be used only 50. So, yeah, it's not super duper hoppy. I've had hoppy here in like 70, 80. Just not to my liking. And when I review these type of beers, I wish I had either. I was still close to Jammer so we could do beer reviews together and split stuff like this. 
or have a 12 ounce can instead of a 16 ounce. But don't worry, I'm gonna drink it all down. Let's start, right? Yeah, not super bad. I just don't like a lip something in the middle there. I'm not sure if that's the hoppiness or the uh, the torrified wheat or I don't know. I'm not a big wheat person, so maybe that's what's really irking me in there. Yeah. But it's not real bad. I I probably give this one a one more sip. But I definitely can't go as high as what beer advocate give it. Uh, but I'd probably do a a C plus a, a swallow. It's just that I've had better Imperial IPAs. It's not even hoppy for a double IPA or Imperial IPA. I mean, it's 50 IBUs, but I've had some Imperial IPAs that are like 80 IBUs or something. So 70, 80. Not super bad. Uh, it's it's kind of mellow. It does have a little bit of hoppiness in there, a little bit of piney grief, but it's not overwhelming. But I think those two things combined, maybe with that wheat that's in there, maybe the Pilsner grain that's in there also, maybe just a combination of all that. It's just not doing it. It's probably helping mellow it out maybe, but it's just not doing it for me because... But yeah, so there you have it. C plus and a swallow. Well, they say Bruce Willis. Now, not they. Uh, Jammer told me that Bruce Willis was cuckold for, I don't know, after, you know, Demi Moore got with Ashton or maybe it was while they were married. While Bruce was married to Demi Moore, Ashton started coming over and Bruce watched. Like, Jammer told me Bruce was a cuckold. I don't know if that's true or not, because I tried looking up before I did this video real quick, and I couldn't find nothing. Yeah, I put it, searched it in. It was, was Bruce Willis a cuckold with Ashton Kutcher and Demi, and nothing came up except for the stuff about Demi where she said that uh, Ashton got her into doing threesomes and stuff like that. The, the women always blame the men. Yeah, of course the men like that, but if you do it and let it do it, that's your fault, too. 50% of the blame is on you. You know? So, so who knows if really before that, you know, maybe Bruce was cuckold. It's Bruce Willis. Now, I couldn't find nothing with a quick, trying to do a quick search. Maybe there is something online about it. I don't know. Look it up yourself. But Bruce isn't young, even, I don't know how old Bruce is now. What's the early, late 60s or early 70s? Bruce Willis is 67. So when, well, let's check. What year did Ashton Kushner and Demi Moore get married? They got married in 2005, so that was 10. Oh, wait, 10. Wow. 10, 15, 6, 17 years ago. So Bruce was 50 at that time. Almost. Or a little bit over 50. But how many years did I say it was? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. He's 67. Yeah, he was 50 years old. Maybe he couldn't get it up back then. And he was cuckold. I don't know. yippee ki motherfucker. But as you know, Ash and Kutcher, 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 whatever hell his name is, uh, that he was married to Demi Moore 2005 to 2013. Then he got back with Love of His Life, uh, the girl from the 70s show that was with him. Uh, I forget her damn name. Wow, well, that's weird. But he got with her. Supposedly they didn't like each other when they on that 70s show, even though they played boyfriend-girlfriend. But I think there was probably something going on back then. But that's cool. Um, I hope he's not making her have threesomes. Then again, she's probably doing it with him. And then later on down the road, she's going to cry about it and say that he, for he forced her to. Who knows? 
But with her, well, you never know. You get a couple, some few drinks in a girl, and you get some drugs into a girl. Most girls, I'd say eighty or ninety percent, will do some freaky shit. Of course, when they get sober, then you got to deal with them <laughs> crying and shit, blaming you. I didn't. Put that needle in your arm or snort that coke or you did all that yourself. Everything you did after that was, yeah, never mind. I'm, just, I'm going off the deep end there. I'm not a big IPA person, but I've been reviewing a lot of them lately. I got one more IPA to do today, actually. It's another double or imperial IPA. Ugh. But hopefully it's a good one because I've done a couple by that brand so lately too, so they've been all right. So another Sierra Nevada one, and then I have I think I have a stout to do after that, so that's gonna be great. I, I forget what the ABV was on it. So the eight point something, yeah, eight point two. Yeah, if you uh you ever see this one, I'll try and get the green on there. Spruce Willis, if you can't really tell, I'm back there. Yeah, same thing. It's got the pine tree. Uh, it says yippee ki mother. Probably can't read it because of the damn green screen stuff. But it's got the symbols. yippee ki mother. Little triangle thing. At. Some type of percentage thing. Little star and and symbol. Basically means you know what. Uh, it says at the bottom, craft be cherished, rules be damned. A Die Hard was a great movie, man. It, it still holds, yeah. You know, I, I think it's been played out. It's one of those movies where it's been on so many times, yeah. You know? But I guess if you get a young person who's never seen it before, that's what you have to really test it on. Somebody that's between the age of four, 14 and 40, and let them watch it. Uh, never seen it before, yeah. You know? There's some movies that I haven't seen before, and I'm actually like, wow, i never seen this movie. Whether it's something that was in the 80s, 90s, and I somehow missed, because it wasn't my typical genre movies or whatever, or something that's old from the 50s, 60s, 70s that I didn't see back then, never knew about them. Now, Jammer did tell me about some other trucker movies. I guess trucker movies were kind of big in the late 70s, Smokey and the Bandit. So he told me about this other trucker movie. I was like, i never seen that before. I never even knew about it. And I tried watching it. And I watched it for about 30. Who did it? Chris Christopherson's in it. I think Ernest Borgnine, I think, was in it. Can't remember who else. But anyhow, I watched it for about 30, 40 minutes. I was like, yeah, I can't watch any more of this. It sucked. But there are really some really good movies I'd ever seen that were... 50s, 60s, westerns, uh, what do they call those ones? Noir? Yeah, those type of crime type ones, investigative, mystery, whatever. Some of those are pretty good. Probably some gangster movies out there that are really old too that are probably good and i never seen them. Yeah. Anyhow, anything else going on? Got my new uh, Carolina shirt. Uh, the ladies, Carolina Gamecock female teams, Sweet 16 in the tournament. I think that, was the last year they won. I think it was last year they won the women's NCAA tournament. I wasn't here in Carolina at that time, but the Carolina girls be getting it done. So I'm a new Gamecock fan. I just moved to Carolina from Florida. I really never was any Florida team fan, so I moved there. I had to pick, felt like you had to pick one: Florida Gators, the Seminoles, or Hurricanes. I went with the Seminoles. That's who I rooted for. And now I'm in Carolina. I root for the Gamecocks, unless they're playing one of my my overall favorite college team is Notre Dame Fighting Irish, of course, right? But I'm in Carolina. It's either Clemson or the Gamecocks, and I think they got South Carolina State Bulldogs, which I think I don't even know if they're Division One. They might be Division Two for I know, but but I'm going. I'm closer to Columbia, so well, I think it's actually 
part of Columbia. It's not really Columbia. It's outside of Columbia. I don't know. Gamecocks. Now, I really think Gamecocks like a fighting rooster, right? Uh, a fighting cock, really. I don't know why they didn't just call them Carolina fighting cocks. Maybe Gamecocks. Less letters. Uh, yeah. Anything else? That's about it. All right. Well, let me go ahead and finish this. We try to finish our beers here on a Spitter Swallow Beer Review. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it and get this one over with. I'll edit it down. I'm at 20 minutes right now. So hopefully I can get it down to like, you know, 14, 15 minutes. Uh, I'm just saying nobody will ever watch these whole videos unless I do something outrageous. <sighs> but that's not going to happen because I'm pretty much a easygoing person. Don't do much. Jesus Christ. The country we live in now, it used to be like you can say whatever you want. Now, because of social media, you say what you want and it offends people. Everybody's offended. Well, get the fuck off the internet. You won't be offended. All right, yippee ki -yay, people. Shag dogs, swallow beer review. We'll see you on the next one.